Okay, guys, let's do measurements. What I was able to achieve with this deck. So you see levels set, zeros. Right, so I switch into the tape. And let's start from the simple, simple measurements on Dolby level. Right. Here is a Dolby level. And here is minus one decibel from zeros. Right. And it's just, you see on the border, it's just starting to light the segment. All right, good. Next, uh, let's see what wow and flutter I was able to achieve with this deck. Switch into wow and flutter, three kilohertz. Play. And you see, zero level. And here it's playing. And go zero point zero thirty five. 32. Right. And default frequency is 2920. It's there is no adjustments. So there is no like the only cup was there I replaced it, so that's how this motor is tuned. Right. Good. Good results. Now, let's see what I was able to achieve with frequency response for playback. So, switching back to level. So, this tape should play as minus 11 decibel on this deck. Let me rotate it to the beginning. Now let's start from the low frequencies and see how it will play. So, here is the amount of parts which are replaced in this deck. Quite a few. Plus additional improvements. Okay, let's see. So, it's minus 11 proper and it's 400 hertz. Okay, fast forward. This rotate pretty quick and quiet, what I like. Okay, one kilohertz, minus 11. Good. Fast forward. Let's find three kilohertz. Okay, three kilohertz pike. And we have minus 11 and a half. Okay. Moving on. Half decibel is fine. Next should be 6 kilohertz. Yeah. 6 kilohertz and it's minus 11 way back nice and let's check 10 kilohertz just to finalize so i believe i achieved a very good playback frequency response with this deck but um, it it requires some some thoughts how to do it i never fixed this deck before Similar models, okay. 10 kilohertz. Hello, boom. Minus 11 and a half. All right, very good. We are like half decibel from the linear response. I believe it's a tremendous results for the deck when we have 
minus 4 decibel on 10 kilohertz. And it was minus 2 on 3 kilohertz. Uh, next, uh, let's check uh, recording frequency response. Normal. Let's start recording. Okay, I need to calibrate on the levels. So it's a source, 400 kilohertz, and it's recording. Let's adjust right channel and left channel. Good. See, zeros, zeros. Good. Now let's switch to minus 20. That's about it's fine. One kilogears, half decibel, three kilogears, uh huh, six, ten, uh, twelve, fifteen. Wow, let me reduce the bias a little bit. 18 is down recorded. Okay, let me see what I get there. Uh, minus 20, white noise. Boom. More or less linear up to 15 kilohertz. A little disbalance between left and right channel, but it's pretty hard to find proper position on this deck. Again, like uh, older decks, they have um, uh, transformers and HX Pro on left right channel separately, and it's much easier to tune than these older generation decks when it has just capacitor as a filter between bias and the recording signal. Okay. Let's go back to 400 and adjust levels for the DKSA. It's chrome tape, chrome position. It's type 2 tape. Let's do recording. And it's almost there. Let me adjust it just a little bit between left and right channel. Oh, yeah. I'm very good. And let's see our frequency response. Now let's return back bias. Very flat up to 16 kilohertz. Good. But that's the maximum I was able to achieve with this deck. Remember, has were like minus 4 decibel. Uh, okay. I believe it will be recording very nicely. And let's see to decay my tape. Metal position. Okay. Recording 400 okay, levels. Left channel a little bit. Done. And we can check, see, calibration levels, yeah, and bias. Bias, it's, yeah, definitely needs to be adjusted. It's too big disbalance. Okay. Now, let me see. With this tape, we have a little bump. Yeah. I still can record well to 16 kilohertz. And now let's check the Sony tape. I believe I'm adjusted bias based on Sony. Okay, I believe we need to adjust levels first. Yeah, so that tape is different. Here we go. Now we have levels. 
And let's see what we get here. Uh, a little bit bright. But I was tuning and trying like to get the same value between like 400 and 10 hundred gears. It looks like it's a little bit too high. Okay, I will have to adjust it for the metal tape. Let's see. Oh, now we have right channel at that level. Yeah, for metal tape I need to reduce this bump a little bit. But this deck, you see, it don't go over 16 kilohertz. That's everything I was able to pull. But 11.16, it's, it's pretty fine. Recordings will be really good. Let me adjust it a little bit. And that's it. Okay. Good results. I will adjust it, assemble, adjust like metal bias, assemble, and make sure that uh, we would be able to hear it. See you on the next parts. Bye bye.